Hello guys, and welcome back to my channel again. If you are a new player in Call of Duty Mobile, then one question is always come into your mind, and that is. What are the best FOV settings for Call of Duty Mobile for both Battle Royale and Multiplayer? So in this video, I will fully explain all the FOV settings for Call of Duty Mobile. So let's get started. But before going to settings, let's take a look at what is FOV in game means. Well, FOV stands for field of view or field of vision. In simple words, it's the vertical and horizontal perspectives for viewing game in your device screen. It essentially determines how much you can see in your game view. Different players might have different preferences for FOV settings based on their gaming style and preferences. So first let's discuss FOV settings in Battle Royale. In basic settings, there are three main settings for FOV. So let's discuss these settings one by one. First setting is for player who use first person game mode in Battle Royale. So for this set value to high. Second, and the most important setting is camera FOV. Camera FOV means how you see your character in the game. So for better understanding it, let's make its value to low and see what will happen. On low camera FOV value, you can't see your character full in the game. And this will also block your sight when you are in close range combat. So now let's make value of camera FOV to high and see the difference. At high value, you will see full character, and this will help you out in close range combat, especially if you are a hip fire player. Now let's talk about FOV setting. So for better understanding it, let's make value to low. On low value you will get close angle view, but advantage is you will see enemy at distance very clear. Now let's make value of FOV to high, and see the difference. At higher value, you will get wide angle view, and this will help you out see enemies around you in close combat, but only disadvantage is you will not see enemy at distance clear, and also processor will take more time to render the map. But for best gameplay, always set value of camera FOV and FOV to high for better gameplay. Now let's talk about FOV settings for multiplayer. So there are two settings camera FOV and FOV. So first let's make value of camera FOV to low. So, I discuss already about camera FOV for battle royale. So here, you will get small angle view of the weapon. So when you use higher value of camera FOV, then you will see full gun, and you will also get wide angle view for shooting. And for understanding FOV setting, let's make value to low. On low value of FOV, you will see enemy at distance very clear. But on high value, you will get wide angle view around your gun, but you can't see enemy at distance clear. But for best gameplay, always use highest value for camera FOV and FOV in multiplayer to make your gameplay like a pro. Now let's discuss about two more settings for FOV, and that are sync aim with FOV to scope zoom and weapon sight distance. So before going for these settings, many Call of Duty mobile players are facing ping problem in the game, so I got a solution for it. So to get low ping and lag fix, go to my description and click on link and install this app. This gear up booster app is best solution to high ping and lag fix, because it gives you complete gaming freedom and you can play any game on any server. And this app is designed for battery efficiency and doesn't take any additional mobile data. And now, it has a most advanced dual assurance mode. This new mode uses Wi-Fi and mobile data to reduce game latency and disconnections. When boosting, the system will automatically select the best connection because it connects Wi-Fi and mobile data together. So select Call of Duty Mobile, and you have multiple servers. So select Middle East server and boost. This will give you low ping, and makes your shotgun accuracy more perfect. So first let's talk about sync aim FOV to scope zoom for both battle royale and multiplayer. So go to your basic settings and there is a setting called sync aim FOV to scope zoom. Basically this setting gives a wide angle view when you open scope of the gun, so for better understanding it, 
let's make this setting to off. Now, when you open your aim, then you will see area around scope is very close, and you can't see enemies around you very clear, so sometime in close fights you miss the target and get killed easily. Now let's make this setting to on and see the difference. Now, when you open scope if the gun, you will get wide angle view around the aim scope. This will help you in seeing enemies clear around you and your aim will get improved in close fights. This setting is also available for multiplayer, so first let's make this setting to off. Now, let's make this setting to on. Now let's talk about sight distance for scope zoom setting for both battle royale and multiplayer. So first let's understand what sight distance weapon setting means. Basically the settings means maximum range you can see while exploring the game more on your screen. With this setting you can get wide angle view when you open aim. So for better understanding it let's go to weapon setting and set the value to zero. At zero value when you open aim, you can't see full weapon so you will also get a smaller view around your scope while opening aim. Now let's make the value to high and see what will happen. At higher value you can see full gun and maximum wide angle view around scope. In close fights this will give you advantage of seeing enemy clear around you, but disadvantage is your enemy will look small at distance. So for best results, always set the sight distance value according to your gameplay, or set value anywhere between 25 to 50 for better game. Remember if you want to set the sight distance value to all guns, then it's not possible, so you have to set it manually. You can use same settings for sight distance for multiplayer. Hope so. This video will help you out in understanding all FOV settings in Call of Duty Mobile. So if you have any questions and suggestions then comment me below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe this channel and hit bell icon to get notifications of my upcoming videos. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video then like it, share it, and subscribe to my channel.